Yes, guys, welcome from me, Transit Manager 0102. So every so often, uh, I'll do a video on a specific player, and I suppose realistically, this should have been the first player I um, I done, in all honesty. But do you know what? Who gives a shit? So here we are, the legend himself, Maximum Sigalko. So firstly, let's just talk about a little bit of history on the great striker from CMO 102. Maximum Sigalko sadly passed away Christmas Day 2020. Uh, at the age of 37, he retired from football in 2010 uh, due to uh, ongoing injuries. He didn't quite live up to the bill that CMO 102 um, portrayed him as, but you know what? That being said, a lot of players didn't. Uh, which brings me to my next thing. You know, a lot of people say uh, Sigalco is a big word here, cheaty player, cheaty player. Now. I don't know, some years ago I used to think, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, I've given this a lot of thought, particularly over the last 12 months or so. Uh, and for those of people that say he's a cheaty player, he's not a cheap player. He's a real player. That's a fact. He's a real footballer. And, you know, okay, he didn't um, he didn't set the world alight like the Paul portrayed him to, but neither did Xavi or Saviola. But he is a real player. You know, he, he, he completed it in, um, in Belarus. You know, he, he played in Belarus with uh, Dynamo Minx, where uh, he won the Cup and the League anyway. He was just a bit unfortunate that he had to retire um, at, at a young age. When 27, he retired. Um, he was born in May 1983, um, and he had a good um, amount of games for uh, Belarus as well. Um, so, anyone that says he's not a real player, bollocks. Because if you say, oh, you buy him and uh, he's a cheap player, well, you know, or he's overpowered. Now, overpowered, yeah, all right, he's overpowered, you know. And that's only because, had he have uh, turned out to be this world superstar in real life, then people would be saying, oh, yeah, CM got that bang on. They got it wrong with Xavier Saviola. Um, you could say Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr is overpowered. So, you could argue, if you say, oh, I'm not buying him, uh, because he's overpowered, he's a cheap player. Well, that's you know that's just fucking bullshit. Don't buy Samba. Don't buy Mark Kerr. Don't buy Kennedy Bakarugu. Don't buy this player. Don't buy that player. You could be here all day. Um, in terms of the ODB, there's only one player, in my opinion, who is uh, not a real player to buy. And if you followed my channel, you'll know that I've hit on this before when I did a Sigalco uh, video slash against this one man, Tony Madeira. That's my own view. Uh, so Tom Adira is not uh, a real player, so he is a fictitious player, and uh, and I would personally just remove him. I haven't even done it on this save that I've loaded Sigal come up on, but I will just remove him from the data space completely. In terms of Sigalco, right, he's not... Uh, I mean, I'm four years in now. I'm in my fifth season with this game that I fired him up at, and you could look at him and think, yeah, well, he ain't got great attributes, but the most important thing is his attributes are massive in the key areas for his position, and they are finishing pace off the ball. Uh, you know what? He don't, he don't have good positioning. Who gives a fuck? He's up front. Passing. He's a target man. Who gives a fuck? Marking. Who gives a fuck? Like, you know, and so on and so on and so on. And it don't matter... M 95% of saves, if you've got Maxman Sigalko, he will, he will be a beast. Now, I've had him for a season in this particular game. This is my Challenge 10 save. And, I mean, look, 51 starts, uh, one sub, 64 goals. He got my player of the year, and he assists as well. 52 games in total, 23 Man of the Match awards. I mean, that is pretty impressive. Um... Obviously, he starts without any caps. Now, in CM, you won't get him on the work permit if you're in England or where you require a work permit. But, of course, there are ways around that. Of course, there's ways around that. As you know, check the video... Uh, sorry, check the contents uh, within the uh, channel for videos on how to beat the work permit. But... Um, that being said, if you if you don't like to do that, uh, because that could be defined as a little bit of uh, exploiting, manipulating, or cheating. I, I fucking hate the word cheating, if I'm really honest with you. Um, that, you know, what you could do is you could just persevere and wait for him to um, get a, a natural work permit, which means he needs to break into the Belarus squad. As you can see, he has done in this particular save. He's got 13 caps, 6 goals, and that kicked in... Um, there you see, back in season one when he got his move to Besitas, he got four caps there, another six caps there, um, nothing there. And then, of course, he's had three more as a sub last season. So he's up to 13. So, you know, he is the dog's ball. I would have... The only time, right, 
the only time I would not have Sigalco as my starting striker. If you start a game as uh, Roma, so let's uh, let, let's go to Roma. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm a few seasons in, so a few of the striker options are not going to be available to me here, are they? But if you start a game as Roma or Man United, uh, you're going to have a lot of strikers at your disposal. You, you're going to have, I mean, Roma, you're going to have Batistuta, you're going to have Montella. You don't need Sigalco really to lead your front line. Um, if you were Man U, you've got Van Nistroy. You know, you, you don't need him. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I would still get him. I would probably more than likely still get him um, in order to create competition because at the end of the day, you know, he, he's such a good player to have and he'll come in and he'll do a job. And obviously, again, 95% of the saves, he will um, develop the, the attributes in the key areas. And, and there you see, I mean, maybe he's just being man managed brilliantly by myself. You know, um, but yeah, you, you look at his. Uh, I mean, the, the finishing pace and off the ball for me personally, they are the three key attributes for a striker. Clearly, there's a lot more. You know, there's a lot of other things. Technique is one, uh, and even that is really good. Um, work rate is only 13. Um, dribbling is only nine, but in my opinion, uh, you know, it is really see, aggression. Seventeen. I mean, he was a tall striker uh, in real life, so you can see jumping nineteen. A player that has jump, good jumping, theoretically means he's a tall guy, but I'd like him to have good heading as well, but that's not the case there. Um, so he is the main man. I mean, if we go to Belarus, he's not even the star man at Belarus in this particular save. In my opinion, he should be. Um, of course, there are many other uh, overpowered Belarusians in a CMO 102, but again, they are real players. That you know, I don't care what anybody says. So if we, like I said, you know, and I mentioned this about, um, was it on the update, wasn't it? About there was a, a fake player added into the update. There is a reason behind that, a story behind that. But it depends how you look at I mean, Tom Madeira, I mean, I've got Portuguese League open. So let's see Madeira. It, he's been prolific. I mean, you can see how prolific Madeira, not as prolific as Maximum. Um, clearly not. I saw someone's uh, squad today on CM. Uh, I think it was a Millwall say or Stoke, I forget. And they had, they had Madeira Segalco. Uh, what was his name? Pa uh, pa uh, pa 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 Pava, Pava, and Samba. Now Samba, you know, going back to you know overpower players, Samba. I mean, he can turn really fucking beastly. Samba, he can turn. There's no doubt about it. Samba can turn. Uh, I'm not sure you won't get the same goal ratio, in my opinion, from Samba as you will from Segalco. Um, I mean, Segarco is auto value, uh, as I'm only Russian, is only 7 million. So my important thing in, in this particular save is to keep him happy. Um, so that is that is that. The great man himself, Maxman Segarco, the late, sorry, I should say, the late Maxman Segarco. Um, you know, I mean, he, he began his career, I believe, at, uh, at youth team at Dynamo Minx um, before moving in. Um, and I think, now don't quote me on this, um, he left after four, five years, something like that. I haven't got his, um, I haven't got his full biography to hand, but I know he, he, he made his name as, Don, he made his name as Dino and Minx, but he made his name also, um, I think I googled it once, a CM legend, although I wrote F, I saw FM legend, which I thought was fucking disgusting, because that's bollocks. Um... But, um, yeah, so that is the great man himself, Maximum Sigalka. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if there's anybody you want to see uh, a little bit of a write upon, a little bit of a view on, um, do let me know. And I will try and do it for you. So until next time, guys, take it easy from me. Boom.